this whole vacation in cape town <laughs> i see so many things coming out of this vacation and that's what we're here for is it not i have to say that tutu pie see i think i've said this a million and one times tutu pie is really a spoiled brat and she needs to check herself because you cannot continue to have problems with everybody even your best friend you're having problems with like your attitude nah that is a zero over 100 like we've been trying to tolerate your attitude but that attitude is becoming an excessive one hello everybody and welcome to my youtube channel hi you're doing hope you're doing great hope you're staying safe remember to subscribe hit the bell button and also let me know your thoughts in the comment section so the ladies are actually in cape town for vacation all sponsored by arafa so arafa is actually outdoing herself this time around so the ladies arrived and then just to spice things up a little bit arafa tells them to go and search for their rooms so basically each room has a name tag to it so they all go they find their rooms and then tutu pai did not find her room upstairs so she goes to the basement and finds her room there and she starts throwing a tantrum <laughs> what even annoyed me in this whole tantrum thing is the way she was comparing herself with samantha like how will samantha be up there and i'm down here who is samantha yeah i'm not staying here i feel like everybody understands and knows my house i can't be here <laughs> just my question i'll go because i'm not staying there and samantha will be a room to wait samantha will be locked upstairs samantha wasted time to come that a room is locked for samantha, Listen, samantha that room is locked you may have like excuse me i don't understand what has samantha got to do with this i don't think samantha arrived with the ladies so maybe she's feeling since she arrived first samantha should not have a better room than she has so the way she was just throwing the whole tantrum i was like girl take a chill pill like calm down <laughs> so she just kept throwing tantrum that she's going to radisson she cannot tolerate this she cannot tolerate that in my head i was like please can you just go because i want this lady to have a swell time can you not just spoil the mood that's in this environment right now and then she now starts throwing another sort of tantrum and then we now see her if i come to her don't worry i was just joking with you and now took her to another room i don't know where that room came from i don't realize it was samantha's room they then gave to her i don't really know how that played out next thing is that we're seeing the ladies are here for dinner so they all come out to have dinner have lunch have dinner sorry so arafa decides to tell the ladies that she she wants to suggest something that let them have a conversation more like you say okay what you like about this person and what you think this person is going to change and all of that so the ladies just kept talking and expressing how they felt and um, oj prosherla said that she wasn't happy with arafa based on what arafa had said saying that her diamonds are actually fake and would you go out there and destroy my integrity why would you say fake considering like someone like you you wear like brass what, what would you really know about diamonds i found that very insulting so because of that um um arafa had to apologize saying she's sorry but she feels like if you're selling real diamonds you should actually come with a fester so that whole conversation ended all of them just said what they wanted to say when it got to time of tutu pie she said she has nothing much to say she was just quiet all through she didn't even say much she was just on her phone and i think basically it was something had transpired in night to that day so she had nothing to say she said she was very okay that um she's maybe later on she'll have this conversation and then the next day that she walks away based on the events that happened yesterday i wouldn't be contributing much i'm not in a good place I mean, I don't want to use the wrong words, but I'm almost like I don't give a shit. So when I feel better, if need be, we'll have another conversation. Like, 
she walks away from the ladies and then um i'm just going to pick a few people that actually said things that cost a little bit so um time for princess princess said that samantha is cool but she feels like samantha should keep should be calm that's not every time that someone is actually trying to compete with her or trying to drag her and all of that and why princess was saying samantha was actually trying to argue with her and the ladies were like girl she's just saying what she feels like everybody have said things your own is just to hear even if it is not true just hear for just hearing it but samantha just felt like she could just attack and and actually um defend herself more like it gets into an argument or when she she's talking to people and you can always pass a message without being uh, uh i would like to to buy to work on her temperament whatever i don't have real friends on this table i don't want to have i just so next thing is that we are seeing Arafa going to the rooms of all the housewives the next morning to check out how they are faring. While she was going, she was actually giving them gifts, having a conversation with them. She had a conversation with um, Princess. She went to Princess from first, having a conversation with her, saying, Hi, is she doing? What's up with them? Um, Tutu Pie. And then Princess goes ahead to say that, well, she doesn't condone nonsense. That once you're her friend, she believes that you have to be loyal. She believes in loyalty, and loyalty should be key. So she doesn't like what Tutu Pie actually did to her, how Tutu Pie was not loyal and said certain things. So basically what happened is the night was it really the night when they had their last party that is oj for party i think so um tutu pai they were like okay they're going to do for a guy for tutu pai and tutu pai is like she doesn't really believe in this marriage after all if the ladies are, mar are happily married they wouldn't be out there and princess actually did not find it funny like what exactly are you trying to say trying to say that i'm not happy in my marriage and all of that so um princess had to vote, say what say her mind but people like Persons like Samantha, Arafa did not really say much, but it was princess that had to say, I don't like it, you're my friend, I know that I'm happy in my marriage, so why exactly are you saying certain things like this? And then um, she now goes, Arafa now goes to comfort room, sorry, to um, Sutu's room after how she's doing and tells her, you know what, I think you're actually overdoing things, I think you need to calm down, I think you need to apologize, there are certain things you shouldn't be saying, and Tutu is like, she doesn't owe anybody an apology. Oh. You're almost 40. And you know what they say about people when they turn 40? They fall at 40, they say fall forever. So, girl, get your act together. You can't be playing up and behaving like a child. She said what she said, and later on, I told Arafa, if I've said anything before concerning you that you feel offended, I'm so sorry about it. Then she now goes to meet Comfort. And guess what? <laughs> Comfort, my girl, <laughs> she will never fall by hand. She now goes ahead. And okay, Arafa went to Comfort's room and obviously Comfort was not there. So she decided to come down to the kitchen and then there they see Comfort. Comfort actually came well prepared as a Nigerian girl. Like you can leave, you can you can leave comfort. You can take comfort out of Nigeria, but you cannot take the Nigeria out of comfort. Comfort actually came to keep town with Gary, sugar, and granuts that she will be drinking. And she goes ahead to say, um, I don't thank God I came with my granuts, my Gary, because you actually wanted to starve me. Comfort came well prepared. She came to soak Gary. <laughs> like, I love that she's real, she's open and all of that, although she has her comma side, but that whole real thing, she said, ah, Arafa, I cannot come here and starve. And I find like, sorry about that, but she's, she's, there's actually food for everybody, just that it's not your time. Can you carry all the way from Ninja? Okay. Before I'm gone. Okay. Okay. Nah, thank God I brought my garyo. <laughs> Complete with the granite. This will help. <laughs> we can remove you uh, from Ninja, but we cannot take the Ninja out of you. You will not carry all the way. Remember that this one is our life saver. So the dancers are having conversations, and then, um, Comfort goes ahead to say, Arafa hands over the gifts and she says, oh, is this gifts for me? Like, I'm surprised they're giving me gifts based on what has transpired. So, Arafa now goes ahead to say, well, one, I was surprised to actually see you come for this vacation. Because from the last episode, Comfort said with all that is going on, she's not going to attend it. So, Arafa was now confused and surprised. Like, ah, so she actually made it. So, they said having that conversation of, oh, and we're supposed to be loyal to ourselves. We're supposed to be like the elderly ones. We're supposed to like be the mentors for these ladies. But for you to go and believe what Tutu was saying or said about me, that was actually person like. So, we're just having this whole altercation. Like, we're just having this whole argument. Yes, you're supposed to be there for me. Yes, you're not supposed to be there. Yes, I said you're not my friend. And then the next thing that was surprising to me is that Comfort saying, Arafa is saying that Comfort said that 
Arafa is actually a prostitute, so she cannot hang around with prostitutes. Bear in mind that Comfort and Arafa's husband, Arafa's husband, are actually friends. So when the whole statement of prostitute came up, I'm like, excuse me, <laughs> like it was wild. I did not expect to hear a thing like that. Like, how can you be someone's husband's wife? No, how do I even say this? You're a friend to someone's husband's wife. Is that even making sort of sense? And then you're now saying that the person that your friend, the wife, is a prostitute. That means you don't respect that your friend. Because what exactly? But like, why would you have that kind of effort to actually pull out such words? It doesn't make any sort of sense if you ask me. Then they just keep having that whole you're supposed to be this. You're not my friend. I knew from the one you're not my friend. You're supposed to be loyal to me. And it was just so wild. At the end of the day, it was just fun if you ask me. So the ladies are actually chilled. And then I think from next week, the whole event will start properly. I cannot wait. It's going to be fun, 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 fun at the end of the day. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Yeah, this video is very brief because I'm rushing somewhere. If I don't do it now, I might not do it again. So see you in my next video. And bye. You in your space with your friends. And I'm like, mm. After all, you came to the post studio and you said it now. You're like, hey, before I invited you there, you're like, see this Asha, why is she inviting me? <laughs> why do I want to be friends with someone that is thinking that all that yeah. thing is Asha? Um, in common, I admire the fact that she has been clear that everything she did to me after that was deliberate.